welcome to today's video. Today we are already headed out, but first, some veggies for the chickens. He's coming. He's like, I'm coming. <laughs> I don't know what was going on in the hen house, but there's a lot of chickens in the hen house this morning. They're like, yes, we got veggies. So uh, just a little update on our chickens. We have started rehoming all the baby chicks that we aren't keeping. Mama chicken is still laying on her nest and mama chicken is still nice and cozy and feeling awesome in her little hut that we made her. They just honked the horn when I walked in front of the car. The mares are all happy and healthy and having breakfast. It's even worse when Dad's driving. To pull it up to the house for me while I feed the chickens. And well, I'm a good driver. She is a good driver. Yeah, and that was smooth, Sophia. I didn't slam on the brakes. <laughs> That's good. Anyway, we're headed out to meet barrier number one for this week. We have like a busy, expensive week. I have two wallets. Barriers and vet. Galore. I'm quarters in there. So Sophie brought, Gabby brought her wallet finally. It's the first, first. She never brings her wallet. Loonies, toonies, and quarters. So in Gabby, Canada, need, like, two of those quarters. in Canada, our money is one. totally different. I need to take the change out of here though, because you can't. I don't have like $1 bills or $2 bills. They're all changed. <laughs> so I brought a snack for today because we're going to be at the barn for a while. And yeah. it is cheap and crackers I showed you guys the other day. It is a Gouda cheese. And it's really Gouda. And multi-grain crackers. This is what they look like. They're so crispy and so crunchy. Mm, it just makes me happy. I also brought, and bringing, carrots. If we get hungry, we can eat carrots. Those are for the horses, I thought. Those are for the horses. But anyway, let's go meet our farrier. But first, so uh, Sam and I came here yesterday to get feed for the chickens and I forgot that I needed shavings for the horses so we are here and I'm going to get shavings. Huh. Perfect. One more for good measure. Perfect. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye for now. We are ready. Well, I was actually wondering about these things the other day. I saw them in somebody else's video. We have a bucket, a water bucket for our chickens that have these nipples. They're called nipples. And I use it in the big chicken coop. And I've seen other people use it for babies. And I've seen them instead of hanging them down where they put them sideways for the baby chicks. And that some people think that it's better for them to drink like this. And I never ever thought I'd find them. They were 10 bucks and you get four nipples and then you just have to, to put them, attach them to a bucket to make your own feeder, which is such a cool idea. Yeah. They say that chickens have to put their head down, drink, and then tip their head back to drink, to finish drinking. And that with the nipples, they just are able to like continuously swallow it. I don't know how they say it, but anyway, some people believe it's better for them. I don't know if that's true or not, but I know that I really like our nipple water that we have now so i'm grateful that i have that sam i have another project for you let's go we're finally headed to the barn and i'm excited because i like being there when there's nobody else there and we have like a lot of time to clean our horses off and just spend time with them so let's go we are collecting horses door. oh i had to close the whole close the door <laughs> look at the chickens <laughs> They're the cutest chickens. Yeah, so Finn broke his lead rope yesterday. Or Finn's lead rope broke yesterday. So we need to get it. We have some, even in the car, I think. Just not color coordinated. So we're gonna collect the horses for the farrier. And uh, we asked you guys on Instagram to leave us questions about the possible new horse, which is kind of early because we don't know for sure. Like we're pretty much for sure we want him. Obviously we wouldn't do a vet check without being sure. But, like, I always think the vet check is going to go well, but you never know. So, I shouldn't get, we shouldn't get our hopes up. I shouldn't get Sophie's, ho Sophie's hopes up. But even if we don't buy this horse, Sophie would still be able to ride him. So, we're going to do a QA and a and hope that things go well. And if they don't, then we'll deal with that. <laughs> I caught myself a chubby horse. You ready to go? It's your turn. It's your turn, mister. You look tired. It is nap time on the farm. I saw several horses. 
laying down in the sun, sunbathing. Sylvia heard weird noises in the barn, so she's still standing out here. Oh, all right, all right. So, there's a cat, it's okay, you got it. Uh-oh, don't get so close to his bum. So, yeah, Sophia has the tallest horse, and these are some tall horses. So, anyways, what I learned, <laughs> he's like, there's a cat. Be gentle. Come on. So what I learned is that horses like being sung to. I learned this with Penny. Gabby doesn't think they do, but I really think they do. So I challenge you guys to try it. So when I was walking Chino here, I knew Gray Finn was in front of us. Finn was in front of us. Well, Finn was in front of us, and I was like, "Oh, great, your horse is leading." And if he spooks then Chino's gonna spook. Why shouldn't we lead? So then I started singing to Chino and instantly his head dropped down. And the same thing happens with Penny. If I get to ride her today, which is my dream and my hope, then you guys will see how when I start singing, she drops her head. It's literally the coolest thing. I challenge you guys to go out there and try singing to your horse. They don't even care if you sing badly, right? <laughs> they don't. Some do. But for some horses, it really makes such a huge difference to them. Like it just calms them right down. But he's trying to tie the lead rope. <laughs> there we go. No, because it'll come undone. Because... Oh, what is happening here? It, this thing gets stuck on that. So like, what the hell are we doing? What's trying that? to tie this up. And it gets stuck. So like, that's way too loose. First of all, you do it. Oh, it's shocking to me that you guys are so close in size. Horse, get your head back over here. Get your head back over here, horsey. That's good. You want it to be too tight because when you tie it, it loosens. All right. See? The so separate one is this friggin' thing. <laughs> Why are you licking me? Hey? It's a licker. You're a licker. All right, we're good. It's the wrong lead rope, Sophie, that's why. Holy heck, they have a Lemieux saddle pad for sale, and it is a gorgeous color. Would match Sophie's new horse so beautifully. You guys see it? This is like the third heart I've seen today, and it's just a dirt heart. It's blue. It's blue, and it's dressage. This is not the same one that I have. It's a blue-green, but it's still very, very blue. I want it. Is it dressage? I asked you guys on Instagram to send me questions about this new horse, and Sylvie and I are going to shoot a Q&A right now about him, and that video will be up soon. I might wait until we see if we get him. <laughs> that would have been the, that would be the logical thing to do. We all need something from here. We all need. I need my purse. Sophie hears crazy noises, you guys. She hears a boy, a man, saying, Mom. <laughs> I don't know why that happens to her, but whenever it gets really quiet, she's always hyper aware and feels like she's hearing noises, people talking. <laughs> it always freaks her out. It's okay, Sophie. Gabby's out there. She'll Gabby keep you safe. is an idiot. <laughs> okay, so this is the... The non-slip pad that we've been using, and then somebody said that it can pull out hair. And I do see a little bit of hair on there, but not any more. He's anymore. also shedding. So. Not any more than a regular saddle pad. But how would you use this, or would you not use this? It's a non-slip pad. <laughs> now Gabby comes in. Uh, Secrets oh, of the haunted oh, barn. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness. No, take children, children, no. children. Wow. Look at Finn! Look at your face is looking so white. Mom, do you have a white. dead child you're not telling us about? No. Oh, Nicholas. If Nick is dead, then it's him. Uh, Hi, I just wanted to double check and see if you're okay. Yeah. All right, Sophie had this weird feeling that you were not okay. No, I heard voices. That she heard like voices you. that said, Mom, it sounded like you and she was worried for you. They're taunting you. Uh. Yeah, yeah, fine. You should take her to a doctor. <laughs> All right. <No. laughs> We're making fun 
Bye. All right. Bye. Bye. I love you. I love you too. Chino is getting his shoes on, his front shoes on. Sophie just wants her horse to have the best of everything. He just has normal feet. He has good feet. Well, if he has... you say it and you believe in it, then it's going to happen. Yeah, that's power of positive thinking, you guys. Manifestation at its best. 12 years old and she's already manifesting. She even know what manifesting, is. manifesting is believing, no, you dreaming, ask her believing, manifesting. and achieving. What is manifesting? Dreaming, believing, and achieving. achieving. Yeah, man. See, she knows. No, I don't. But all the horses are stood in a line with their heads facing Chino. They're all watching. They're like, we feel so sorry for you, Chino. We know what it's like. Don't eat a chain. The black beast. Chino. The black beast. Yeah, I smell like the barrier in here. It came in here. So the other day he trotted off. Yeah, the other day he trotted off. So the other day, so I told you guys that Finn and Chino, who are best friends, won't let anybody else in their field. They're like turned really mean in the field. So, so Brandon changed their field and now it's Finn and Chino with an old, with a really old mare who is the ruler of the roost and things are getting a lot better. When Finn was being bad and beating up the new horse, Brandon said, Finn, you better behave or I'm going to make a gray rug of you. And I was telling that to our farrier and our farrier said, well, he's got a lot of brushing to do before he gets a nice, <laughs> a nice gray rug. I said, I don't think that even there's gonna be enough brushing to get the dirt off this boy. He needs a hot bath. <laughs> We're excited for warm weather so that he can have a lot of baths. Don't you know that you're beautiful?